it is no exaggeration to say, I think, that the, uh, one of the acts that most of us would agree uh, was a, a supreme low point in the history of, of our particular civilization in the last 100 years, certainly, was the, the mass extermination of, of, of 8 million Jews and gypsies and, and others uh, by the Nazis, the Entlösung von Judas Problem in Europa, as they call it, the final solution of the Jewish problem in Europe. Um, now, it, it is a, a massively difficult thing to get your head around how ordinary people, and Germans are ordinary people just like us, and if we don't believe that, then we'll, we'll be doing to them what they did to the Jews. We will, we will be ascribing a, a, a racist characteristic just to Germans that is unique to them. I think we can all be grown up enough to know that it was humanity doing something to another parcel of humanity, and, and that it was very extraordinary. And we've seen examples of it in our own lifetimes in Rwanda and Burundi, and we've seen it in, 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 in other places where massacres of quite extraordinary brutality have taken place. And in each in each one of these genocidal moments, or uh, attempts at full genocide, these, uh, um, in each example was preceded by language being used again and again and again to dehumanize the person that, was, that had to be killed in the political eyes of their enemies. In other words, it began in, in the 1930s, it in fact began quite early, early little than that, but the, 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 the Jews were rats, were vermin, were vice, were affenmenschen, uh, ape men, uh, untermenschen, which is subhuman in German. They were subhuman, they were ape men, they were rats, they were vermin, they were a bacillus, they were a virus, they were anything but a human being. And, and the same thing happened on the radio as the Hutu and the Tutu were, were, were slaughtering each other. Was, again, the word rats was used, vermin m m um, and, and, and lice and insects. Uh, and and if, you start, if you start to characterize week after week after week after week after week, you start to think of someone you're slightly sullen and disagree, you don't like very much anyway, you're, you're constantly getting the idea that they're not actually human. Then it seems it becomes possible to do things to them that are, we would call, completely in, in, unhuman, inhuman, and lacking humanity. Though, oddly enough, we're the only species that does it. Um, it, 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 is, it is interesting and, and important to remember that it is language that, that not only guarantees our freedom, free exchange of ideas such as this, in which one is allowed to say anything, in which one would hope everybody observes the decencies of debate and, and of good nature and is not cruel and unkind and uh, mocking and uh, derisory, unpleasant, uh, vicious, uh, or, or indeed whipping up uh, violence. But as long as ideas are exchanged freely, um, then, then we can more or less guarantee some level of stability within our society. But the moment we begin to use special language for special people and special... Um, special terms of, uh, um, of insult for special terms of people, then that's, we can see very clearly, and history demonstrates it time and time again, that's when people are suddenly, perfectly ordinary, able, uh, ordinary people are, are able to kill. There's an amazing book called Ach, die schöne Zeit, um, um, which, uh, which, which has recently, I think, been translated uh, under the title, Those Were the Days. And it is a quite horrific thing to read because it is so... Ordinary. It is simply the letters home from the, the guards and soldiers and SS members uh, and officers of the death camps of Auschwitz and Treblinka, um, home to their families. And they, they would, a typical letter might read, Oh, you would have been so proud of the man. We had an extra special action come in today on the train that we hadn't been warned about. It was a whole 700 extra had to be processed. The men never complained once. They went about their business. I was so proud of the man, especially as it was so hot. Um, uh, do tell young Klaus that I've seen the results of his history exam, and if he doesn't get a better grade, I should be very cross with him. Meanwhile, here is a bottle of plum brandy. And you look at that, and you know that that special action, that Zonderaktion, meant 700 people had come in, in order, men, women, and children had come in to be gassed and killed and burned. And he's writing home to his, and it's, it's, a, it's a father writing an affectionate letter to a mother. It's so human that, it, that it, it makes one gasp at how this kind of happened. And language is 
Languages is, is, is at the root of it. And I suppose that's why we have to be careful about our language, or at least it's why we have to be alert to it and we have to think about it.